Academy Street uh, opens in 1944 in a big house in the west of Ireland on a farm and the central character Tess is just seven years old and her life is suddenly ruptured by the death of her mother. The early part of the novel is, uh, covers her childhood and she goes away to a boarding school. Uh, she trains as a nurse and when she's around 20, 21 or 22 she immigrates to New York and there she lives for the rest of her life. She has a brief calamitous affair um, which results in the birth of her son Theo. So she's a single mother and a nurse rearing her child uh, and she moves into a flat, an apartment on Academy Street in Upper Manhattan and at the very end she returns back to her childhood home um, and uh, considers her life really. The genesis of the novel actually has a family resonance. Um, my own mother grew up in a big old house just like Easterfield in the west of Ireland. I modelled it on that and I remember that house when I was a child. Um, when my mother was three, her mother died suddenly as well. My mother never immigrated to America, but one of her sisters did, two of her sisters did actually, and a brother. Um, and my Aunt Carmen was a nurse in Manhattan and she lived in an apartment in Academy Street. I've always been fascinated by America really, you know, as children we got photographs home of aunts and uncles and cousins as well, but my aunts and uncles looked so beautiful. They had gorgeous dresses and earrings and clutch bags and they looked like film stars and celebrities and to me I thought we were related to the Kennedys because they looked so gorgeous. They, they looked like the Kennedys, you know, the handsome Kennedy men. The biographical and geographical detail in the novel I, I got from my mother and my aunt. Um, about two years ago my uncle who had inherited the farm and the big house died. Um, the big house no longer existed, he, it had fallen down in the 1970s and 80s. I was driving my mother to the funeral and we were behind the coffin and the hearse and I looked down over the wall, there was a stone wall surrounding the, the estate and I looked down and I could see the lovely fields and the, the trees and the outbuildings, the coach house and the yard and just where the house had been there was this gap, uh, an absence, just some green ground, green grass and all around the buildings and the trees. And I saw it, I, I just, it, it felt like a scar or a wound on the land and I, I felt it strongly as well. But it was at that moment when I knew for sure I would bring Tess back to look at her old homestead.